Hello again. Um, I know what you might be thinking that there's two decks here. Um, this is going to be like a contest or something, but it's not a contest. I'm just reviewing two decks the circle back and the fan back um, version of the tally ho decks because they're pretty much sim they're pretty similar except for the fact that the backs are different and oh I got two different colors so uh, let me show you the fan back As you can see it says tally ho the noid finish a daughtry um, regular US patent off and TM off or something like that right underneath a daughtry um, I'm not sure if I got those abbreviations right, but I think that's what it says. This is playing cards number nine. Got a little fancy design here, and then on the back, of course, it has the design of the uh, of the card, the circle back, and then it says original circle back right there on the bottom. On the side, the note finish made in USA, nothing new. The U.S. playing card company, and then it's got the barcode, tally ho, poker number nine, and stuff about where it was produced and manufactured stuff like that um, and then yeah and then oh poker number nine and then inside the cards you got right here on the back you got the two advertisement cards don't need to worry about those and then you have oops two jokers you have a little like um, I don't know how to describe it. Um, like some from the circus, the court master dude, uh, the main guy in the circus, it looks like, or something like that. That's one joker, and then there's the guarantee joker. And if you have two decks, then you can have two of these type of jokers, or two of these type of jokers, doesn't matter. And as you can see, the back, it's got the circle design. It's really cool, it's got a nice finish. And then the Ace of Spades. I like the Ace of Spades a lot on the Tally Ho. They look, it looks really cool. It says Tally Ho. It's got a really cool looking spade right there. It says Plain Cards, A Daughtry, and then it's got information and stuff like that right there. Um, it says Made in USA. It's got like a weird number letter combination. Oh, that makes it even worse, but whatever. And then pretty much the deck is just the normal playing set of playing cards. There's nothing really different about it. It's just the back design and the uh, Ace of Spades that look different, and the uh, Jokers, of course. But uh, it slides really well. It slides really well. I, I love the way it slides. Um, the way it dribbles is, is pretty good. I'm just not the best dribbler. It's a pretty good deck for dribbling. Fans, it would, it's pretty good, but I'm just not the best at fanning, as you can tell. Um, I'm just kind of average with the dribbling. False cuts, it's good for regular cuts. It's, it's just a really good deck. If you don't have one, you should get one. They're not that expensive. Um, so yeah, that was the circle back. The fan back is pretty much the same. The front is all the same. This is all, everything this, um, that's on the circle back deck. <coughs> Whoa, excuse me. Sorry to lose my voice there. Only uh, this one I have in red because I wanted a red and a blue. Um, so that's the red. And then the size is the same. Linoid finish made in USA. But this part's different. This is this one says US Playing Card Company. This one says the US Playing Card Company, Cincinnati, Ohio, 45212. Um, and then on the bottom, the uh, fan back just says Tally Ho number 9, or, po or Tally Ho Poker 9. This one says Poker 9 has the little description right there. Um, poker number 9. And then on the back it has the fan back design. And of course it says original fan back right there at the bottom. And, uh, Inside, of course, the same thing. As you can see, it's got the two jokers, the uh, little court, the ringmaster, and the guarantee joker. And then it has the ace of spades. It says the same exact thing that the, um, this ace of spades says. Still looks really cool. And then, like again, it's just the same, it's a normal deck of cards. 
Only this one seems like it was a little off center. Like there's a lot less whiteness um, on this side than this side. It's a little off kilter. Hmm, whatever. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty much a normal set of playing cards. Um, it's got the two advertisement cards right there. And this one, this deck is just like the, uh, oh, in the back design, the fan back. I think it looked really cool. I like it. Um, but it, just like the fan, or uh, circle back, it slides really well. I love cards that slide really well because my cards that I used to have, they never slid. So it was pretty bad. Pretty good at dribbling. Again, if I was good at fanning, it, w it would look a lot better, but I'm not that good at fanning. So don't mock me. Um, yeah, I tally ho, really good cards, reliable, really good for a lot of different things. I suggest you go get one if you don't have one already, um, because they're just really good. Like I think you can get them at the one eyed jack dot com for like four bucks, um, four bucks a uh, a deck. And I think you can get them at Theory 11 for like two, two bucks or something like that. Um, but the shipping is a little bit more on um, Theory 11 than it is on the One Eye Jack. But still, both good websites. Um, check them out. Theory 11 doesn't have as much um, as uh, much uh, variety as the One Eye Jack, but they're both really good, reliable websites. Um, so yeah, go get yourself a deck of Tally Ho playing cards, um, because they're really good. Either or, fan back or circle back, whichever one you prefer. I got both because I wanted both. And yeah, that's all for me. Um, for like this weekend, I'm going to be uploading a lot of, um, um, reviews on decks because I still like... Cause I've only done reviews on three decks right now and I have like ten more to go so I'm just gonna do reviews on the rest of those decks and uh, so yeah you'll be seeing those sporadically throughout the weekend and all that and uh, yeah I think that's all for me um, tell me what you guys think and uh, I will see you guys next time Get one.